Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you know the channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. Hi Chunky, I'm filming. I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta get this filmed before I start working today, okay? So I'm still working on my new setup in the room. I honestly, I'm just waiting for like a couple of rugs to come in and then the rest of my makeup. So hopefully I'll actually have like a little bit of a background because <laughs> I'm trying to. Anyway, um, if you're interested in that process, I'll have my moving vlog playlist up in the cards. I've got two more moving vlogs already filmed and edited. So those will be coming up in the next week or so. Um, and yeah. So let's go through new releases because I did skip a week, my moving week. I skipped the BWOW then and just piecemeal on Instagram I saw a bunch of new releases some of which are actually really intriguing so let's jump in Ooh, okay I kind of really want this Fenty Beauty is coming out with a new oh it's limited edition though mm. this is a mini uh set of two of the gloss bomb lip glosses I love mini uh lip products just because they don't go bad as fast you can use them up quicker and they just look really cute um so this I totally would get if it wasn't limited edition but i really like the pink dragonfly it's a new shade so it's a pink coral with gold shimmer i think that would look so cute and i want that one mm, okay probably not gonna get it though Ooh. okay so i know i don't need this because i have the ColourPop blue palette and then the other half is just warm tones but this palette is gorgeous this is from melt cosmetics and this is the blueprint collection and the blueprint palette I love the packaging on this. I love the blue side of the palette. The other half of the shades, yeah, there's warm neutrals, but I love the idea behind this. I feel like they should have gone all the way and made this a full blue palette, you know? This would have been so pretty. So Rare Beauty came out with a new collection. This is called the Stay Vulnerable Collection. It's got a cream blush, a lip balm. Don't pay that much money for lip balm. Uh, liquid eyeshadow, ooh, interesting. I love liquid eyeshadows. I'm wearing the Natasha Denona liquid shadow on my eyes today. So I'm actually really interested in trying, because I've never tried anything from Rare Beauty yet. I want to try the liquid blush, maybe the cream blush, and the liquid shadow. That's what's kind of jumping out to me right now. Ooh, and the, I'd say the packaging looks really cute. So has, if any of you have tried Rare Beauty, let me know what your experience is down below, because I'm probably not going to place an order, order. I think I might place an online Sephora order in like February, maybe March. Um, so let me know if you tried any of their products and which ones you like. So these Lime Crime palettes, I have a Pixie palette that looks like, not the the shades, but like the packaging looks 100% the same. So I'm wondering if that's just a standard packaging that you can pick. Anyway, um, none of the color stories are really calling out to me, so this is an easy pass for me. Okay, so here it is. ColourPop is coming out with what looks like dupes for like the mini Natasha Denona palettes. Um, so they're called the Love Struck 5 Pan Palettes and they're $10 each. Now, the only color story out of these that is really calling out to me is that bottom one, the Ballad, which is like the cool smoky toned one. But I have a co I have cool smoky toned palettes. I don't need this. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised it took them this long to come out with like, I don't know, five pan palettes like this. I think it's, it's smart of them to do so. But I feel like at this point, I don't need any of these color stories, but I think these are a better option definitely for someone who doesn't have these shades in their collection as opposed to getting one of their gigantic like Morphe palettes, you know? So I think it's cute. Um, they're affordable. Of course, you're coming out to just $2 a shadow and the packaging is kind of cute. So if you don't have these shades, I'd say go for it. But I also don't know if these are the same original formula because I've heard that recently, I haven't bought anything from ColourPop in a long time, but I've heard recently that their eyeshadow formula has been going down. And like, it looks like they're cutting corners and it's, it's a different formula than their original one, which is really sad because their original eyeshadow formula, it was so great. <laughs> like the Yes Please palette, um, their original singles, so great. And it's so sad to see them just kind of like continuing to burn, go downhill. I don't think I've seen a new Tarte release in a while. Um, anyway, so this is the Tarte Lit juicy amazonian clay palette i'm sorry but this is not a juicy palette this is basically a valentine's day palette it's just meh it's a little too big i think i mean it's neutrals and some pinks nothing super special about it am i the only one who thinks body milk sounds kind of disgusting 
<laughs> um, this is from the uh, ColourPop Family 4th Ray Beauty line and it's $18 for, I'm assuming these are lotions? Yeah, they're called body milks. A, a, that sounds gross. And B, I personally don't like using body lotions that smell like food. And it's, that's just me, but uh, yeah, not interested. Speaking of food scented things, Milani came out with a bunch of new products and they're all food related, so eh. And I think they're all scented too, so no. As much as I like Milani, I don't think I'll try any of these. Oh my god, so I'm filming this pretty early in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock and uh, I'm not gonna say his name because he's gonna wake up But R-E-X the dog uh, He's snoring and I can hear him snoring <laughs> He's adorable. Okay, so it looks like ABH is actually coming out with some new products. Let's take a look They have a brow freeze which just looks like a basically if you do soap brows it's kind of what it looks like. They have a highlighter in Iced Out. I have so many ABH highlighters, I know I don't need that. Um, they have a diamond gloss. Is this the first gloss they've come out? No, I don't think that's the first gloss. I know, they've had other glosses. And then a crystal gloss. Huh. Yeah, I mean, nothing, like I said, nothing really jumping out at me. I mean, it's nice, honestly, I'll say it's nice that it's not another Norvina eyeshadow palette or anything, you know? But just nothing that jumps out to me specifically. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about this. Oh, I think they pulled this because it got such backlash. But this is the MAC collab with The Sims. And first of all, okay, I guess I could see it. A lot of people have been playing Sims. I played Sims back when I was like a teenager. But then I went from like The Sims to playing, uh, what was it, Harvest Moon. So I, I loved Harvest Moon. And from Harvest Moon, I went on to Animal Crossing. And then as an adult, I went on to Stardew Valley. And now I play Animal Crossing again on my Switch. <laughs> But like those kind of games I really did like and I really did enjoy um and I see a lot of people went back to playing The Sims you know in 2020 and quarantine and everything but what the hell is this palette nothing about this says Sims like on the packaging you see you've got blue and you've got green you could have done that you could have done anything but essentially I think what they did is this was already an existing palette so all they did was put it in different packaging that's it they didn't even change the shade names I don't think yeah they didn't even change the shade names it was just like that original palette yeah. Anyway, it doesn't say Sims. It's not even interesting. It's this is like the one of the biggest flops and failed. This is this screams money grab, and they, they didn't even try at all. There was no effort put into this. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I want to try this. So the ordinary is coming out with concealer. Um, I tried one of the very first videos on my channel from a while ago was trying out the foundation I got the coverage foundation and the serum foundation and back then I had a lot of acne So I thought I would like the coverage foundation better, but the serum foundation So good. I loved that foundation I think I don't know if I still have one because I, I don't have my foundations here They're packed up, but I love that serum foundation and I went through at least two or three bottles It's really good. And so to see them finally coming out with concealer I have to try this. I think the next time I place an order for skincare, which I have skincare for a while, but like 90% of my skincare routine is now just the ordinary. So I'll have to place an order probably in the next month or so to pick up some serums, my caffeine serum, my rosehip seed oil, the retinol. I've actually really been lacking the retinol. I'll be doing an updated skincare routine video coming up pretty soon. But um, next time I place an order, I'm going to pick up one of these concealers if they're not sold out. Because I know the foundations were sold out for so long after they came out. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see they finally did this. All right, let's talk about some bullshit. Um, hourglass. What the hell, first off, what the hell is with your shade range? Second, you decide to put together this palette and pat yourselves on the back for being inclusive and everything. What they don't tell you is that these shades already existed in the hourglass line. Um, they're putting them together and I'm pretty sure the saturation is turned up to make them look nicer, but I will tell you that two of these shades were in the holiday palette, the unlocked holiday palette that I own. Two of the lightest shades here work on my skin tone. That's some bullshit. Yeah, they don't work. Nope. No, 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 no. This isn't gonna cut it. I am done with Hourglass. Uh, I know a lot of people have come out speaking against them and like this solidified it for me. Cause like before now, you could have said like, hey, they're trying to work on it, they're trying to come out with products, but instead of actually putting in the work to come out with darker complexion products for people with deeper complexions, 
they just threw together what they had they slapped dash put it together and said look at us we're doing so great and you're not these aren't gonna really work for oh, i'm just so frustrated and annoyed and just i'm done i'm done i'm done i think the only hourglass product i own now is an unlocked palette so who knows maybe it'll be in a panning project soon <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see how this plays out. So this is from BH Cosmetics and it looks like they're doing a birthstone collection. So instead of doing, um, what I'm trying to say, I think I forgot, I think it was Bite Beauty that a while ago, every month they came out with a lipstick for like that birth month. Um, and it was kind of cool. The, the only downside of being born in December is you have to wait till the very end of the year to get yours. And then by then everyone's forgot about it or they don't promote it or you don't see it. <laughs> um, but this one, so January is the Garnet and they came out with this looking palette it's okay i like the pop of red it is mostly mostly neutral um but i am curious to see what's going to come out for december again it's not gonna it's gonna be turquoise for december i'm not gonna see it until december but i'm intrigued to see what you know the months turn out to look like i really actually you know the emerald one for may i kind of want to see what that one looks like but yeah i'll, I'll just keep my eye keep my eye on this collection Oh, okay, I think we're actually seeing some more products from the JLo Beauty brand. So, there is that JLo Glow Serum with Olive, that Star Filter Highlighting Complexion Booster. Yeah. Oh my god, that serum is $79. Oh. We have that Blockbuster Wonder Night Cream. Yeah. That Limitless Glow Sheet. $18 for a sheet mask. JLo. Really? Eye cream for $48, big screen moisturizer for $54, that hit single gel cream cleanser, a cleanser for $38. And that JLo Glow four piece kit, uh, no, 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 no. I can't get over the $18 face mask, sheet mask, one time use sheet mask. Ugh. And it's mostly skincare and like, uh, you can get such great affordable skincare. You don't have to spend that much money to get skincare. Uh, okay, so Elf is coming out with this new collection. It's called the Mint Melt Collection. And I have to say, I'm kind of intrigued by the Mint Eyeshadow Palette, which looks really pretty in swatches. Um, and the primer. So there's like a cleanser, there's a makeup remover, there's a face mask, there's a primer. There's the eyeshadows, glosses, and then brushes. Um, the primer is called the Mint Melt Cooling Primer. I think that would actually be interesting to try out. I um, mean, I've heard really great things about e.l.f. primers. Um, so that primer and then the mint eyeshadow palette. I'm not going to run out and pick them up like right away, but that's just what jumps out to me from here. All right, so we got another makeup brand from a celebrity, Halsey. I think I've only heard like one or two of her songs, but another one. Another one. Yeah. Ooh, I want to try this. Okay. Wet n Wild is coming out with a new tinted moisturizer, it looks like. This is called the Tinted Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator, Tinted Moisturizer, and it's dewy. Hmm. It looks like it's only available at Walmart now. But it looks interesting. I like the packaging. I love squeezy tube packaging. You can really cut it open and get everything out and then you can recycle it. It's my favorite kind of packaging. Um, oh, but like my favorite BB cream currently is the Wet n Wild BB cream. So I really want to try this. Ooh, I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. So I can't believe they're already redoing them. I feel like they like just redid them, but I am intrigued. Wet n Wild, want another Wet n Wild product. They're redoing the Color Icon palette. So they're 10 pan palettes. I've got like a few of them in my collection, but they're redoing the packaging. I don't know if they're redoing the formula. I think it's the same formula, but they're redoing the packaging. They look clean, they look fresh. I really want the green and brown palette. <laughs> And they've got five pan palettes too. Um, I'm intrigued. Normally Walgreens around here is my best bet to find good wet and wild products. So I might make a Walgreens run in the next few weeks. Um, but ooh, ooh, I'm intrigued. Okay, and I think I covered all the big things that really caught my eye over the last couple of weeks. If there's anything that I missed that you want my opinion on, let me know in the comments down below. And feel free to tag me on Instagram if you see anything. I love getting tagged and making sure I save those for these kind of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.
Bye.